There are some arachnids that aren't born often, and when you hear about them, you'll be glad they're not common creatures. These are 20 spiders that are born only once in a thousand years. Number 20. Peacock Spider Peacock spiders make up the Muratus genus of jumping spiders, which belongs to the Salticity family. Notably, all spiders in this genus are small, ranging from 0.4 to 0.6 centimeters in length. In addition, the males are exquisitely showy, as they have brightly colored appendices on their abdomen, or opisthosoma, which they extend in a vivid display during courtship. Peacock spider species are highly sexually dimorphic. While the females lack bright colors and are mostly light brown, the males exhibit diverse diverse hues and patterns. Male spider coloration is due to both pigments and structural colors. Specifically, the latter are obtained from the microscopic scales, or modified hairs, that cover their bodies. Studies have shown that the white, cream, and red scales often have elaborate spiny shapes. Muratus spiders have eight eyes that help them to perceive movement and depth. In fact, their eyes can see the entire light spectrum, including UV rays. Various studies have determined that their staggered retinas allow them to perceive colors in a way more similar to the way birds observe them. They can jump about 10 centimeters, or 40 times the length of their own little bodies. They are also mildly venomous and can live for approximately one year. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. Australia. That's where the craziest animals are, and spiders are no exception. This image here is an artist's recreation of something a tourist staying in an Australian hotel claims to have seen. When walking through the hallway in the early hours of the morning after a late night drinking on the beach, she claims to have seen a spider as big as her. If spiders like that are real, we're glad they're rare. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. Chinese Hourglass Spider Also known as the Oreo Cookie Spider, this spider belongs to the genus Cyclocosmia. The Tenizidae, or species of the same family, exist in some areas of the five continents. However, their sightings are extremely rare since they are arachnids that spend most of their time inside their burrows. In China, for example, there have only been around 20 recorded sightings since the year 2000. The rumor that circulates on social media indicates that the spider is extremely poisonous and that it can paralyze a human being in a matter of seconds, but it would seem that this is not true. In fact, they're not that poisonous at all. Even in the event of an attack, which is rare, you would only feel pain similar to that of a wasp attack and mild swelling. This spider attacks only when its burrow is threatened. Chinese hourglass spiders can live up to 20 years. To this day, they dig burrows of about 7 to 15 centimeters vertically in the ground. To seal it, they use a mixture of earth, vegetation, and silk in some cases, and they harden some parts of the door, which gives it the appearance of a coin or plug. Number 18. Happy Face Spider a green arachnid native to the American archipelago of Hawaii shows a striking mix of colors on its abdomen. This peculiar specimen is found within the arachnid family called the Theridian Gralator, and it has a peculiarity worthy of being shared, proving that a smile can be found where you least expect it. This spider has the particular characteristic that the appearance of the patterns on its body is assimilated to a smiling face, very similar to a typical smiley. Hence, this species from the island of Oahu, called Molokai in the American American archipelago of Hawaii is called the Happy Face Spider. Scientists assure that its unprecedented shape and color is due to its ability to camouflage as a defense mechanism against predators, mainly birds. But not only does this spider have a perfectly shaped smiley face on its abdomen, it can also change color in a very interesting process that has to do with its diet. Basically, this spider's appearance can temporarily change as it metabolizes various food items. Isn't that cool? It can be seen in the tropical forests of these islands although they're not easily seen since their size is 5 millimeters in length. Unfortunately, its camouflage doesn't seem to be as effective, as the Theridian Gralator is in danger of extinction. Number 17. Horrid Ground Weaver With a name like that, 
you know this spider's gonna be interesting. Also known as Nothofantes horridus, this spider is not only one of the rarest invertebrates in the United Kingdom, but it may also be one of the rarest spiders in the entire world. Horrid ground weaver spiders have a total body length of two and a half millimeters. Their small size and habit of living deep inside the cracks and crevices of rocks makes them extremely difficult to find. The horrid ground weaver spider is a tiny money spider, or linephiid. As mentioned earlier, these spiders are endemic to the United Kingdom, and they are so rare that it's only been found in three places in the whole world. The sites are all within a small area of Plymouth in southwest England. Now, what about that macabre name? Well, it's not as eerie as it sounds. The actual name comes from the fact that its body and legs are rather hairy, and the Latin origin for the word horrid is bristly. Sadly, this little fella is listed by the IUCN as a critically endangered species. Of the three known sites where it lives, one of them has been lost to development, and a second one has recently been threatened by an application to build houses. In other words, now this spider only has a very small and isolated area to survive. Number 16. Goody Sapphire Ornamental Spider Picolotheria metallica is a species of tarantula. It reflects a bright metallic blue color. Like others of its genus, it exhibits an intricate fractal-like pattern on its abdomen. The natural habitat of the species is the forest in Andhra Pradesh, south-central India. In the wild, goody sapphire ornamentals live in holes in tall trees where they make asymmetrical funnel webs. Its primary prey consists of various insects. This species is desired by many enthusiastic tarantula collectors, with adults some sometimes priced upwards of $500 in the United States. They are relatively strong spiders that grow quickly and generally feed on crickets. There's never been a recorded human death from its bite. However, it is considered that this species has a bite that can lead to significant medical consequences, with a venom that can cause intense pain, judging from the experience of those bitten by other spiders of this genus. The vivid colors of the spider are produced by nanostructures. Structural colors are usually highly iridescent, changing color when viewed from different angles an effect that can also be seen in peacocks and butterflies. Some species of blue tarantulas have hairs with a special flower-like structure that's been hypothesized to reduce iridescence, an effect that's being used to develop new materials. Number 15. Golden Orb Spider Nephila is a genus of Araneomorph spiders belonging to the Araneidae family since 2017, the date in which it was transferred from the Nephilidae family and known as golden orb spiders due to the color of the silk they produce. The threads of its web shimmer like gold in the sunlight. The male is about one-fifth the size of the female spider. Golden orb spiders exhibit some very interesting behavior. The female often rebuilds half of her web each morning. She knits the radial elements, then the circular elements are knitted. When she's finished weaving, she goes back and fills in the gaps. Also, young spiders show a vibratory movement when they are stalked by a predator. This kind of spider is not poisonous, but the usual symptoms of the bite are local pain, redness, and blisters. These usually disappear in an interval of approximately 24 hours. The silk produced by this spider is not only unique and striking looking for its color, but it's also one of the strongest in nature, so much so that it's being studied for its high resistance, and in Indonesia, it's used to make clothing. The extinct species Nephila jurassica, which lived about 165 million years ago, reached a width of 15 centimeters between its legs, making it the largest known fossilized spider. Number 14. Hercules Baboon Spider the Hercules baboon spider is one of the largest that can be found in Africa. They live in shrublands and grasslands in East Africa. The Hercules baboon spider can measure up to 20 centimeters, is reddish brown in color, and weaves its web between burrows so that its prey falls entangled. They are a slow-growing species and feed mainly on beetles, cockroaches, and other spiders. Their name derives from the fact that baboons usually eat them, and for this reason, they can be aggressive towards primates, including humans. When they feel threatened, they stand up on two legs and emit a disturbing hiss. Or at least that's what the legends of Nigeria say, because no specimen has been found in the wild for more than a century. Despite their aggression towards humans, these spiders are quite popular among collectors, mainly because they lack urticating hairs. However, due to their sheer size and defensive behavior, they are not suitable for beginners. It's important to keep in mind that Hercules baboon spiders have very strong venom. A bite from a small specimen will cause 
cause sharp pain and localized itchiness for as long as five days. Number 13. Longhorned Orb Weaver this peculiar-looking spider is not only magnificent, but also rather distinctive. The long-horned orb weaver will easily impress those fortunate enough to see it in real life. This spider mostly weaves fabrics in the form of a spiral. It has a trapezoidal-shaped abdomen and six sharp appendages, of which the two central ones stand out. They are long and curved, which resemble two horns and are much larger than the height of the body of the spider itself. The function of these appendages is not yet clear. The most plausible theory is that they use them as a display or deterrence of predators. It feeds on insects that fall into the circular webs it builds, whose diameter can reach more than a meter. It lives in Southeast Asia and India in rainforest habitats. Like most arachnids, this species displays the physiological characteristics of sexual dimorphism. Even if this species is quite tiny, the female measures 2 or 2.6 centimeters, whereas the male specimens measure about 0.15 centimeters. The eye-catching horns are only present in female specimens. Number 12. Spiny Orb Weaver Gastroaconda is a genus of spiders in the family Araneidae. Species of this genus are found in Asia, Oceania, and Sub-Saharan Africa, except for Gastroaconda cancriformis, which lives in America. Most member spiders of this genus are strikingly colorful, with shell-like bodies and prominent spines on their abdomens. Colloquially, they are called crab spiders, and it's easy to see why. However, the spiny orb weaver is not closely related to the real crab spiders. The abdomen is large, quadrangular in shape, transversely oblong or laterally compressed. The front of the abdomen covers the peduncle and part of the thorax. The abdomen is provided laterally with two anterior spines, two median and two posteriors, the medians being, in general, much finer. Spiders of the genus Gastroaconda build their webs in open spaces between the branches of trees or bushes. These webs, orbicular, have suspension threads several times longer than the diameter of the web. Strips are often decorated with small balls of silk along the spiral of the web and then tangled with debris to form a unique shape that usually looks like a zigzag. These spiders do not use retreat, but instead stay in the center of their web even in broad daylight. Number 11. Wolf Spider The wolf spider is amazing, and not just because of its looks. Tarantulas are likely to come to mind when you come across one of these formidable arachnids. However, the wolf spider is classified in another taxonomic group due to certain unique characteristics. In fact, these invertebrates belong to the Lycosidae family, a word that comes from the Greek lycos, hence the nickname wolf of its name. But they're not special just for this curiosity. They are arachnids with prodigious abilities. The appearance of the wolf spider is impressive, its body covered with hair, eight eyes, ease of camouflage thanks to the brownish tones it wears, and long legs. In addition to this, the specimens of this family of arachnids are usually quite large. Added to this is their nocturnal habits, which is why their sense of sight and touch are so developed. As you can imagine, these spiders are strict carnivores. They mainly feed on insects, but the larger species can can even hunt small reptiles if the opportunity arises. Unlike other spiders, and due to their size, they do not spin webs suspended in the air. Instead, they create vertical burrows in the ground, where they hide and stalk their prey. Although they are poisonous, they are not capable of killing an adult human. In most cases, their bite produces the same pain as a bee sting. It's common for them to sneak into houses looking for small insects and dark places to hide. Number 10. Pikachu Spider this one's for all the Pokemon fans out there. Meet the Pikachu Spider. The bright colors of Microthena sagittata, a spider found in Honduras, is likely to help the insect attract prey, while the outer spikes serve as a defense mechanism. National Geographic explorer Jonathan Colby was in the Honduran jungle when he came across nature's closest attempt at recreating the anime's beloved and arguably most popular yellow Pokemon, Pikachu. The back of the abdomen of this Central American spider has bright yellow 
markings with two rear spines ending in white tips. In addition, on the sides it has thorns, and the rest of the body resembles a red ant. A curiosity about this arachnid is that its Pokemon appearance only occurs in females. Scientists think this could help the spider hunt for insects. While the deep yellow color attracts prey, the spines keep predators at bay. Colby explained that the spines could make it harder for animals like birds to swallow the tiny creatures. When Colby discovered the spider in Honduras, it was resting on a web suspended above the ground. He took a photo and left it alone without actually catching it. Number 9. Magnolia Green Jumping Spider Next time you want to stop and smell the flowers, beware. This aggressive-looking spider lives hidden inside the flowers and may very well decide to jump on your nose. But don't worry, the Magnolia Green Jumping Spider is rather small. Unlike most jumping spiders, this green little devil is not furry, and its legs are very long and slender. However, despite the physical differences with the most common jumping arachnids, the Magnolia Green Jumping Spider can still jump three or four times its own body length, which is quite impressive. This species is an ambush predator, and it hunts mainly on plant-feeding insects like aphids, ants, mites, and even other small jumping spiders. Females are larger than males, and they lay their eggs under leaves and covered with spider silk for protection. Both genders have lucid green body color and pairs of little black dots on the abdomen. Their pairs of eyes sit along the front of the face and top of the head, diminishing in size and surrounded by short little hairs. These little creatures are most commonly found living on magnolia trees, hence their name, but they can be found on other plants as well. You can find them in warmer, humid parts of the southeast of the United States. Number 8. Goliath Bird-Eating Spider the Goliath spider is known as one of the only spiders that can eat a bird, but they usually don't really do that. The name bird-eating spider came in the 18th century when another type of spider was eating a hummingbird, and the entire Therophosa gene was named after it. It is known as the queen of all spiders. It can weigh up to 170 grams and can measure up to 30 centimeters when stretched out, making it the largest arachnid on the planet. Despite being such a large animal, males only live between 3 and 6 years. On the on the other hand, females can live up to 20 years. The goliath bird-eating spider's true diet consists of mostly insects, but rodents, frogs, and birds also come on the menu. This arachnid is found in the Amazon, located in northern South America. When this spider attacks a mouse, for example, its fangs act like hypodermic needles that inject poison into the prey. The spider then drags the dead prey to its hole in the ground to begin the digestion process. They cannot digest solid matter, so they liquefy the entrails of its prey and drinks it. Yum! The defense of the Goliath spider is very different from that of other arachnids. They have very poor eyesight, so instead of relying on it, they rely on the hairs on their feet. These hairs are modified to be sensitive to vibration and alert the spider that danger is approaching. In addition, these hairs are their method of defense since they are shaped like harpoons, and when the spider feels attacked, it rubs its legs and throws them. Number 7. Mirror Spider this adorable little creature whose abdomen is covered in light reflecting mosaic-like silver-colored panels is a mirror spider. From certain angles, it looks like it's wearing a fabulous little sequin dress. Scientifically named Thuetisia argentino punctata, it is found naturally in much of Australia and parts of Singapore. Its great physical attractiveness is centered on the hemispherical forms of gold and silver tones that it wears on its abdomens, patterns that are commonly bordered by colors such as red, black, yellow, green, and brown. The mirror spider, which measures between 3 and 4 millimeters, has not been studied as thoroughly as other species. However, it is known that its venom is not a threat to humans. The silver plates of the abdomen appear to shrink when the spider is agitated, or perhaps when it feels threatened. This way, the mirror-like shapes disappear, revealing the actual abdomen. Under normal conditions, however, these same panels expand and become a surface almost uniformly reflective. But how come a spider can produce a mirror-like skin? Well, the reflective scales are composed of reflective guanine, which the mirror spider and many other arachnids use to give themselves color. Number 6. Diving Bell Spider – Scuba Spider this arachnid is one of the few spiders that lives permanently in water, puddles, or ponds. 
The water spider, Argerinida aquatica, is a member of the Agolinidae family. This is an araniomorphic spider. This species is found in the regions of Asia and Europe. It can measure up to 2 centimeters with its legs extended. The water spider, like all spiders, breathes through the lungs. To live in the water, it makes a bell-shaped, silk-based air chamber. The silk is attached to an aquatic plant. It fills the chamber by capturing air bubbles from the surface and drags them there to snag them on the fine fur that covers its body. The water the spider hunts its food, such as various aquatic arthropods, mainly isopods. They swim, dive, and reproduce in the water. The male looks for the female he likes the most. He builds a home for her next to his. Later, after some courting, together they decide to tear down the partition that divides their homes to expand their future home. Both air bubbles mix, and in their new home, they mate and live together until the eggs hatch. Kind of romantic, isn't it? When the little ones grow up, they demand their independence, so they take an air bubble from their parents' house and go off to build their own home. Not so different than human teenagers. They are very poisonous spiders, but accidents with these arachnids are rare. Number 5. Scorpion-Tailed Spider I know, I know, a spider with a scorpion tail? What next, right? I mean, these two creatures are scary as it is by themselves, but if you cross the two, we may as well just start moving to Mars. But worry not, this creature looks scary, but is not. Arachnura is a genus of spider that spins its web in circular spirals from Australia, with one species found in Africa and Madagascar. These spiders mimic dead branches, leaves, or twigs thanks to their brownish color and appendages. They stay in the middle of their web day and night. When disturbed, they curl their tail, but this tail is totally harmless as they're not closely related to the order scorpions. Even though these spiders look quite aggressive, they are in fact quite relaxed creatures. Bites are rare, giving rise to minor symptoms such as local pain and swelling. The females are between 1 and 3 centimeters long, while the males reach only 2 centimeters and they do not have a tail. Their scientific name, Arachnura, is a combination of the ancient Greek arachne, meaning arachnid, and euro, meaning tail. The tails are only present in female specimens. Number 4. Bracken Bat Cave Mesh Weaver its fancy scientific name is Sicurina madla, and it is a very rare species of spider in the family Dictinidae. This arachnid is endemic to Texas in the United States, where it is known to live only in eight or nine caves in Bear County. This little spider, along with other invertebrates, are some of the few endemic species to the karst caves of Bear County and were federally listed as endangered species back in the year 2000. Bracken bat cave mesh weaver spiders have no functional eyes because they spend their entire lives underground where sunlight doesn't reach. Females, as usual with spiders, are much larger than males and cream-colored. But even though they are larger than males, they're still so tiny. They measure between 4.8 and 6.7 millimeters. Only two specimens of this species were ever collected, and one got lost. The entrance to the Bracken Bat Cave is filled in and cannot currently be accessed to protect this spider. In August 2012, a spider assigned to this particular species was found in a six-foot deep natural hole located in northwest San Antonio. The discovery halted the completion of a $15 million highway underpass. Imagine something so small stopping such a massive project. Number 3. Twig Spider even though this little critter doesn't resemble a spider in the least, it actually is. It is a common Australian spider belonging to the Theridiidae family. It is found in Victoria, New South Wales, and Queensland. Its scientific name is Ariamnes colubrinus. It is a small, thin spider resembling a twig, hence its colloquial name. It's often found resting on one or two silk threads. The twig spider feeds on other wandering spiders, mostly young ones, and also some small insects. The twig spider waits above the few strands of silk in its trap. When a small wandering spider reaches the silk, the whip spider descends on its prey. The whip spider uses the combo foot of its final segment of the last pair of legs to wrap food in silk. It is easily seen in gardens on summer nights. Even though in pictures this arachnid may look quite long, it is in fact quite small. The body of the male specimens is 13 millimeters long, and those of the females is about 22 millimeters. Their body color varies from cream, brown, or greenish. Number 2. Eight Spotted Crab Spider 
This arachnid looks like a glossy plastic toy, but beware, it is very much real and very much alive. Its scientific name is Platythomisus octomaculatus, and it is a genus of flattened crab spider from the family Tomicidae. They are endemic to Africa and southern Asia. Male specimens are about 4 millimeters long, whereas female ones can reach up to 20 millimeters in length. As you can see, this arachnid has a bright yellow or orange color with four round, black, shiny marks on the cephalothorax, which is the part that looks like its head, and seven larger black marks on the opus thesoma, the part that looks like the main body. The legs are bright, glossy, and yellow, with the outer halves in deep, shiny black. Almost as if it's wearing patent leather dancing shoes. This spider is quite hard to find, almost impossible, in fact. That's why very little is known of its behavior in its natural habitat. But the times it has been seen in nature, it is almost always on top of a yellow hibiscus plant. The ones that have been born in captivity have been observed to feed on bees. Number 1. Dracula Spider with a name like that, you'd be expecting a horrific, bloodthirsty, lethal spider, right? But it would seem that these scary-looking spiders do not want to suck your blood. However, some species of Dracula spiders do have venom dangerous to humans, and they will not hesitate in defending themselves if they feel threatened. Now, it would be perfect if these critters actually lived in Transylvania, but in fact, they come from the land down under, where all the dangerous animals seem to gather. Their fancy name is Atrax Sutherlandi, and they build their webs at the top of subterranean burrows where they mostly feed on insects. The colloquial nickname of Dragon Spider has been given to them for their deep black color, the bright red patches, and the ginormous fangs they present. I would not want to be an insect near one of these. Actually, I wouldn't want to be an insect anywhere. The red patches are different in every single specimen. Some have red fangs, some have a red abdomen, and even some of their legs. They are all unique and special. The genes for the red pigment are simply expressing themselves in all the wrong places. Talk about rebellious genetics. As you can see, not all spiders are scary-looking, hairy, and aggressive. Some of them are quite delicate and exquisite. What about you? Do you have a favorite spider? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.